Bill, kind of a follow-up questions from our previous conversation. Usually uh, during a job interview, they will be asked, tell me about yourself. Usually it can be the first question or in the middle. So how can job seekers tell their story when that question is being asked? So I think one of the things that, that you have to understand is a lot of times when, when a job interviewer asks, tell me about yourself, one of the most natural things that people do is they start walking through their career history. Yeah. Yeah. And when I've interviewed people and they start doing that, I'll say, no, 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 don't, don't do that. I've, I've got your resume right here. I mm -hmm. know this already. I've seen your LinkedIn profile. Tell me about yourself. What they're really trying to do is get insight mm -hmm. that is beyond just the facts and the figures uh, and information on your resume. They really want to know who you are, what makes you tick, what you value, how you're going to show up, how you're going to do that sort of work. And so you need to think above those facts and information of your resume and really help bring to life for an interviewer who you are as a person and who you are as a professional. Yeah. So again, it comes to knowing yourself and how you're representing yourself. It's important, right? Yes, I think that, you know, in the same way that just about every organization you and I have ever worked for has values. A lot of organizations have their values. Well, you as an individual should take some time to define what your values are. Mm -hmm. What are the three, four, or five things that you hold dear? Yeah. What if I asked you, what's your purpose in life? I know it's a big an yeah. existential sort of question, but you have to be ready to have those conversations because more and more now, especially in a competitive marketplace, yeah. I'm interviewing you for a position. I'm in interviewing five or six other people who have the exact same experience that mm -hmm. you do, maybe even more. Sometimes it really does get down to who are you as a per person, not mm -hmm. just your professional experience. And that can be the key differentiator that separates you from others. And you also mentioned about values. Do you think that value alignment is also important between the job seeker and the employer? And should it be 100% or it all depends on the case? It, I think it depends on the case. You know, it, it's funny because I've been, uh, I'm almost 55 and I've been working for, you know, about 33 years. And when I got into the working world in 1988, <laughs> I didn't even know what values were. I didn't <laughs> care. I was just like, how much you pay me and yeah. how much education do I get? Yeah. But value, that value alignment is really, really important now. Mm -hmm. And not to generalize, but especially for younger generations. Yes. They really care that the organization they're going to work for or the people they're going to work for, that value alignment is mm -hmm. there. So everything that I'm talking about as well goes for the interviewer as well, because yeah. a lot of times in an interview situation, an interviewee will start asking the interviewer questions about themselves, about the culture, because yeah. they want to make sure that value alignment is there. Yeah, I totally agree with you, Bill. Thank you for that. And for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of telling me about yourself or other interview questions, please leave comments below and tune in next time for another great question with Bill.